In this video, we'll talk about MHC class 1 versus MHC class 2. This particular concept is for USMLE step 1 quick revision immunology. These are high yield and short concepts. So stay tuned till the end. Class 1 MHC molecule has one long chain and one short chain. The long chain contains alpha 1, alpha 2 and alpha 3 segments. The short chain is basically the beta 2 microglobulin. The class 2 MHC molecule has two equal length chains, two alpha and two beta chains. So they are structurally pretty much different. Class 1 MHC is found in any nucleated cell, whereas the class 2 MHC molecules are generally found on professional antigen presenter cells such as dendritic cell, macrophages or B cell. Class 1 MHC and class 2 MHC molecules displays different types of antigen. Class 1 displays generally endogenous antigens or sometimes viral peptides. Class 2 MHC molecules generally displays exogenous antigen or pathogen derived antigens. The structural differences of class 1 and class 2 MHC can be understood if we look them from a top view. Their peptide binding grooves are quite different. Class 2 MHC can accommodate bigger peptide ranging from 13 to 18 amino acid long whereas class 1 MHC molecule can only accommodate 8 to 10 amino acid long peptides due to the constraint in the MHC binding groove. Class 1 and class 2 MHC molecules are encoded by different locus. So there is a different uh, HLA locus known as like MHC2 cluster, HLA DR, DM, DP, all of these things encode for class 2 MHC molecules, whereas MHC class 1 molecules are encoded by completely different locus. So these are all the differences for class 1 and class 2 MHC molecules summarized for your uh, convenience. So I hope this video was useful. You can get more notes and flashcards in my Instagram and Facebook page. Links are in the description. You can also support our channel using Paytm, PayPal or UPI. See you in next video.